So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying to do less swearing on the channel. You know, make it more advertiser friendly, more family friendly and things like that. But holy guacamole, do I have news for you. Wait. Guacamole is green. Green's the color of NVIDIA. And it just so happens we're talking about G-Sync support coming to select LG OLED TVs like the one I have in my living room right now. <gasps> I think I just predicted the present. But shelving the topic of my newly discovered supernatural abilities for a moment, today is the day, at least at the time of filming, where we can finally leverage NVIDIA's G-Sync technology on freaking LG OLED TVs like this 77 inch C9 behemoth behind me. You're ruining the shot. You're weird. Before we continue, I wanted to mention that LG is having a pretty epic Black Friday sale on their 4K OLEDs. You can save up to 40% on the C9 model, which is actually the one I'm taking for a spin in this video. I'll drop a link in the description if you wanna check it out. So this welcome little update only applies, unfortunately, to seven different LG TV models that fall under their B9, E9, and C9 series. And this is only applying to North America for now, but they are gonna roll out the same update to different regions before the end of this year. This is obviously gonna be super exciting for anyone who wants to PC game on their support LG TV without any sort of tearing or stuttering. I remember when I did a video on uh, what it's like to PC game on this exact TV, the one main gripe I had was that there was no variable refresh rate whatsoever, and it was the only thing holding it back from being a more or less perfect gaming experience in the living room. But that all changes today, doesn't it, boy? That all changes today, yes it does, cause that's now a G-Sync compatible display. What the hell, that's so crazy to say! I know, you've always been better at containing your excitement than me. So what's the deal here? Why are we making this video? Well, I wanted to show G-Sync operating on this 77 inch OLED TV in action. I think that'd be really cool. Plus I'm just really excited to try it out myself. And also I was gonna show you guys exactly how to set it up in case you do have a supported TV uh, to leverage G-Sync. And by the way guys, when, when I say G-Sync here, I'm not actually talking about it in the purest sense. True G-Sync displays require a built-in module from Nvidia, which this TV does not have. So what we're actually doing here is making it a G-Sync compatible display through the TV's HDMI 2.1 port because variable refresh rate is part of the HDMI 2.1 spec. So with a simple firmware and driver update, we can actually leverage variable refresh rate via the HDMI 2.0B port on NVIDIA's Turing-based GPUs, like the RTX 20 series and GTX 16 series family of graphics cards. I hope that clears things up. Hopefully in a year or so, people will have more access to variable refresh rate in their living room as long as their GPU and their display have an HDMI 2.1 connection. But for now, G-Sync on your TV only applies to a very small slice of the pie, including me. Somehow I fall into that small slice, and that's why I'm making a video on it today to show you guys what it looks like, what it's all about, and how it works. All right, so let's get this show on the road, shall we? I think the first step would be to uh, turn the TV on. Phase one complete. No, we don't want Netflix. All right, so I went on NVIDIA's website and they do have the firmware, the TV firmware listed. It's 47012 and we're at 47005. So we are at a date there. Not exactly sure why when we check for updates, Nothing happens. Even the LG website has no software whatsoever for this TV. And I know for a fact this is a supported model, so what's the deal? All right, quick update here, guys. We just fast forwarded five days since the last clip that you saw. And during that time, I reached out to one of my contacts at LG and was like, what the hell's going on, guys? And they basically told me that not everyone is gonna receive the update on the same exact day, but it's gonna be within maybe a couple days apart. So I happened to turn on my TV just this morning and lo and behold, it updated. But FYI, if you happen to be in the same boat that I was and the software update has still not rolled out to you, I actually did find a link to the software, the updated software on LG's site. So I'm gonna drop a link to that in the description so you can stick it on a USB drive, plug it into your TV and hopefully update the firmware that way. As for us, we are pretty much ready to rock here. The only thing left to do before we can start playing with G-Sync on this handsome stud here is update our NVIDIA drivers. 441.12, I think 441.08 will work just as well. So as long as you have 441.08 and up, you should be good to go for the G-Sync stuff. But let's just do the latest one, of course. Ooh, it's fast. That's some fast Wi-Fi, yo. All right, we'll give it a second to do its thing here. All right, drivers have been installed. And for the record, I thought it was important to note what system I'm using. So this is Hotline 2.0. We've got a Core i9 9900K, but more importantly, two RTX 2080 Ti's in SLI. Obviously, we don't need two of them to make this happen, but we do need an RTX 20 series GPU, which my HTP does not have, I thought it had one, but apparently it's just a, a measly GTX 1070 Ti. No, I'm just kidding. Fantastic GPU, but doesn't support G-Sync on this TV. So now you know what we're rocking with. We are 
all updated on our drivers, we can go into NVIDIA Control Panel, which we should see NVIDIA G-Sync. Ain't that a beauty, boys? It's already enabled and good to go. But I'm actually gonna disable it because I kinda wanna try this out. I wanna do a before and after here. I wanna show you guys, for those of you who are unfamiliar or need a refresher, even though most of you are very well aware of this, I wanna show you guys the difference between, why this is such a big deal, the difference between gaming without adaptive refresh rate and with adaptive refresh rate. It really is a night and day difference that was a total game changer for me and so many other people that uh, I think it's worth showing you guys a quick little comparison here. So let's jump into a game without G-Sync. Oh good, NVIDIA control panel crashed. That's a great start, just ignore that. All right, we're in Far Cry 5. We're looking at a telephone pole. It's all very fascinating, I know. But this is a perfect example to demonstrate what tearing looks like when you don't have variable refresh rate enabled. As I move my cursor, my guy back and forth, you can see that the pole actually looks like it's being chopped up, like it's being fruit ninja left and right. And this happens when your GPU is not in sync with your monitor's refresh rate. And this artifact is present throughout every scene that you look at. Everything that you look at is susceptible to tearing in this scenario. And it can really pull you out of the game. Some people notice it more than others, but uh, once you kind of know it's there, it's sort of hard to ignore. An alternative here that's not really ideal either is to enable V-Sync, which would lock your frame rate so that it is technically in sync with your monitor's refresh rate, but only sometimes. Because if you encounter, uh, let's say, an explosion on screen or something else that tanks your frame rate and your graphics card can't sustain a high enough FPS that matches your monitor's refresh rate, then you basically encounter stuttering, which is uh, an artifact that's equally displeasing to see. So you really have these sort of not so great solutions, which is why variable refresh rate comes in and saves the day. But we can go ahead and enable uh, G-Sync at this point and I can show you guys the difference. It is nighttime in the game now, but that shouldn't matter. And if you look closely here, as I turn and shake violently, you can see that there's zero tearing to be found. And just this simple thing makes the gameplay so much smoother. You really have to see it to believe how impactful it is on your gameplay. But going back to my own experience here, um, this is just really great to be gaming in the living room on this level. And the fact that we have variable refresh rate now on these OLEDs, these things pretty much have all the characteristics and features that we've come to expect on high-end gaming displays in 2019. Like I said, this is gonna be more accessible once HDMI 2.1 becomes a, a more popular spec. Then a lot more people are gonna be able to have this type of experience in the living room. So there it is, guys. That's how I turned my LG OLED TV into a G-Sync compatible display for gaming. Holy moly, what a world we live in. If you're at all curious in buying one of these things, I'll drop some links down below. Uh, feel free to check out those crazy Black Friday deals from LG on select OLED TVs like this one. Apart from that, check out the merch store. As you guys know, a lot of new designs there. Feel free to pick out your favorite one and wear it proudly on your chesticles. As always, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff. I'm gonna at you really soon. Thanks again for watching. I, I am getting, I'm getting eaten by a, a wolf. Is that a wolf? I should probably, I should probably shoot him. Oh, geez. Get out of here, wolves. Yeah, showed those wolves who's boss, didn't I? Oh, still around. I should probably aim. Aiming's good. See you guys later. <laughs>